Status of the poor compared uh, unfavorably with that of more affluent uh, sectors of society in Africa. One in 26 are women uh, of reproductive age die from maternal uh, cause as approved or opposed to one in 9,400 in Europe parallel disparities in fertility and in contraceptive use are found between poor and wealthy countries. The world's uh, total fertility rate has dropped dramatically from uh, five children per woman in the early 1950s to 2.6 uh, children per woman today, largely among to more widespread of modern uh, contraceptive, especially in the developing world. In less developed uh, countries, more contraceptive methods are used by only 43% of women in reproductive age. Statistics from World Health Organization indicate that in less developed countries, Modern contraceptive methods are used by only 43% of women. Today we are talking about uh, contraceptive ignorance and misconceptions in the use of contraceptive methods in Cameroon and Africa. The program is Turn Up, a program that seeks to empower women and young girls still does. Hello everyone and welcome to another exciting edition of your program Turn Up on Canal The English. It's a program that seeks to empower women and the young girls and today we are talking about contraceptives and we have wonderful guests for you today in the studio. It's a topic that we started last week and we had women uh, sharing their experiences on contraceptive use in their families and the role of men and today we have a, a couple and we equally have an expert. He is a gynecologist. A gynecologist is going to be giving you every details or all the technical aspects uh, that has to do with family planning and uh, contraceptive. But with me here in the studio, we have uh, Mr. and Mrs. James, or begin with Bishop Joseph or Joseph and James. You're welcome to Canal the English. We equally have uh, Mrs. Uh, James, you're equally your reverend. You're welcome yes. to Canal to. Uh, Canal the English because you know we don't translate our yeah. names. You're welcome. Thank you so much. Now you're freshly from the United States <laughs> of America. We want to mm. uh, thank God that you're here with us now. Mm. What is making news <laughs> today and around you? Uh, I want to give special thanks to you, you for this very wonderful program. In fact, last week I was uh, opportune to follow it and it was wonderful. Yeah. So I believe that uh, many of us must have benefited something from it and uh, today equally also we are going to benefit something. So I believe that uh, in every program there is a reason for that. Mm -hmm. So it's for us to learn something, right. one or two things. Now I'll begin with uh, Bishop. Joseph James, now why is a contraceptive use a problem in couples? I, I think um, I, I, as a bishop, I want to come from a biblical mm -hmm. point of view. First of all, Proverbs chapter 4, verse 7 says, Wisdom is the principal thing. Therefore, get wisdom. But in all you are getting, get understanding. Wherever wisdom is lacking, ignorance becomes the order of the day. Mm -hmm. And when ignorance is found any place, mm -hmm. whatsoever is destructive could be found there. Mm -hmm. You know, knowledge has power. Mm -hmm. Ignorance has power. These two things are powerful. The Golden State University, United States, um, if you think that education is expensive, try ignorance. That in anything that you refuse to have the knowledge of it, 
and you operate in ignorance, automatically you'll be in problem. Which means that uh, most couples are ignorant about contraceptive use. Yes. Yeah. Most couples, uh, I think, uh, are not educated in that. Mm -hmm. And uh, so it could be that um, they are afraid of one thing or the other, mm -hmm. which they may not be able to explain, mm -hmm. except they have a confidence that they can be able to talk to. Now, uh, Mrs. James, we know that when we talk of contraceptive, we see mostly women. Yeah. Why is it a problem to women in marriage? Okay. Just as my husband has rightly said, you know, some women are not being educated on that side. Like, uh, I have some sisters that have given birth to seven, eight children. Mm -hmm. So I call some of them, I said, no, it is good you go for family planning. And she said, no, I don't want it. It will make me sick. It will make me fat. It will be a problem it, it, that it has side effect. Mm -hmm. I said, no, you have your doctor. Go and meet your doctor. Your doctor will examine you, and uh, we know the one that will be good because there are many types. Mm -hmm. You must know the, the doctor knows the one that is good for you. Even if he does the first one, it's not good, he will change it and give you the one that can work for you. Now, have you ever so, used it? Uh, I have never used it. <laughs> <laughs> but you think you can use it one day? You... Mm, yes, if I am still on that stage, mm -hmm. I can equally use it. You know, everybody like myself, I have three children. <laughs> now, I believe that's the way God wanted it. Mm -hmm. But uh, now, with the children, did you like, uh, uh, did the spacing? Did you, did you do the spacing? I can say it's God that spaced it for me. Because <laughs> my son really wanted to be put into bed every year. I needed four children. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but the Lord finally gave me three. <laughs> now, uh, 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 Bishop James, now, if in your couple, can you like, is it possible for a man and a woman to discuss on the number of kids you have? Are you like uh, spacing in such a way that you do the time in such a way that you don't have any unwanted uh, pregnancy or any undesired baby? <coughs> Um, it comes to what I started with. This, I've been married for 30 years. Yeah. Been married for 30 years, and um, we, at the first time when we got married, uh, we, uh, uh, for the first year, we just said we want to enjoy ourselves. We don't want any child, mm -hmm. we don't want a baby in this house. I just want me and my wife to spend one year mm -hmm. together. Mm -hmm. And it was like that. Mm -hmm. And that time uh, we began to be the God for children uh, children he began to come and uh, just as I said um, um, I, I think people believe that until you sleep with a woman and penetrate your penis into her vagina that you've never satisfied yourself first of all you have to look into a woman how you, I discuss with my wife, and that should be a principle. People should learn how to talk with their wife. Dialogue. We, we started Dialogue. with every that knowledge of freedom begin to come freely. A woman has no right to to say certain things, mm -hmm. do certain things. Is the man Inside that has? Feel fine, yes. She Is just the man accepts that, everything the man says mm -hmm. yes. to her discomfort. Mm -hmm. Yes. So what happens is that. Uh, if you live well with your wife and you agree well, even when the woman is not feeling fine, it's even the woman who will tell you, let's do certain things together. And, uh, <laughs> now, is it possible that the, 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 the woman can suggest to the man that let's go for family planning? Why not? It's 100% possible. Mm -hmm. uh, if there is love in the home, mm -hmm. uh, there has been a dialogue, a real communication between the yeah. wife uh, the husband and the wife, the wife can suggest something like that. With that love the man has on her, he will accept. And, and when the man refuse, the mm. man refuse. Why? Why will the man refuse? First Why? of all, mm -hmm. maybe. Uh, there are many it, who have refused. Yeah, there are many men that have refused, but I don't think it's a good thing. Before the wife can suggest such a thing, there must be. A Why would the man refuse? First of all, you have to understand. Just as I said earlier. When you make your home where you are a tiger, mm -hmm. and the woman is vulnerable, and the woman becomes a lamb that you can devour at any time, mm -hmm. 
That's not marriage. Now, if the man, if the, if the woman like goes behind knowing who the man is, going behind to take the, the constructed type that she wants that is suitable for her, mm -hmm. uh, and the man does not know, do you think the man can get mad on the woman for doing will. that? Because we know in the couple generally two should agree yeah, before to something. Doing it, yeah. Before the woman will go and do it, you must make sure that there is nothing wrong that will come out. Because if something wrong, I'm not talking about in the marriage, in the life of the woman. Mm -hmm. Because if something comes wrong later, if the man is such that is obstinate, mm -hmm. the man may not be careful when the woman becomes sick or having some problems. Mm -hmm. So first of all, just as we started saying, uh, I talked about wisdom. Mm -hmm. He said, wisdom is the principal thing. Therefore, get wisdom, get in all you're getting, get understanding. Mm -hmm. Even in the family where there is love, mm -hmm. if there is no understanding, there is a big problem. Mm -hmm. You have to come to the level where you allow everybody to express his feeling, a feeling. Make sure that the woman also have freedom to, 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 to prove that make her feel at home. She's a part of the home. But as I said earlier, in African marriage, we, we've made women slaves at home that the, anything can happen, anything can go. So the woman has no right to express her feeling has no right to say anything. So that is where things has gone wrong. That's where we so I believe that in dialogue, the, the man has free to share, the woman has free to share. We come, sometimes we disagree, and at the end we agree. Mm -hmm. It is not that we, we, because I disagree that made me a winner, or the other person a loser. It's a matter of coming together into a matter, and we look into it. We may even not agree in the morning. And we agree in the evening. In yeah. the evening, <laughs> they come together. To agree. You know, and what many men don't know today is uh, when a woman is pregnant, she's the one carrying the baby alone. From the first day until the night. The one. men who don't want to understand that. Yeah, there are many of them, and I know many of them are, that are living around me. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it's not easy for the woman. Like, uh, when she will deliver the baby, the, level, the, the delivery room is not really easy. So after, she's the one who will be taking care of the baby. And not only that, you know, in the olden days, like my mother, she has 10 children, and 10 of us are alive. So it's no more like those days. You can deliver 12. My mother even wanted to have, have up to 12. Only that when she finished. At least they were doing the spacing because uh, mothers would do, they would have children after two years. Yeah, but two, today two you years. See a woman who just put to birth after three months, she's, she's pregnant. pregnant again. So you see, so it, it becomes a problem. It's a, a very big problem. You know, in those days, I can say that you know, uh, the cost of living is no more like now. When you talk about education, you know, and when you have all those many children. You will not even be able as a man, you know, to take care of those children to the university level until that child has something doing. Mm -hmm. So there's no need of uh, bringing four children to allow them suffer. You visit many families because of many children, they cannot even have good three square meals a day. Don't you think it's, there's, a, there's a problem of cultural barrier here? That is it. You know, there are some tribes that they really want many children. Mm -hmm. Anyway, if you have the money, you can go on. But you know, for some people that are really struggling with life, not only having tangible things to do, when you have such many children, it's already a problem. You will not be able to train them, even if it's a gear, you, she needs a good education mm -hmm. so that she can get a good work and have a good home, a, a husband. You know, many men today, young men today, don't want to marry any girl that's doing nothing. Even my own children, we don't marry any girl that is doing nothing. So when you are having your children, say after and she's a girl tomorrow, another but one it's a man. a girl or a boy, she needs proper education. Education. Yes, uh, Bishop James, you want to react to that? She said, if you have the means, <laughs> what of many, many people have the means, mm -hmm. but their children don't have moral upbringing mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. the father is not there. Mm -hmm. It's always out, out, out. And you see the child, the child, is trained academically, but morally is zero. Mm -hmm. So in the society, you see that the person is not who he's supposed to be. Mm -hmm. So it becomes a problem. So well, if you ha may have so many children, is poor. Why would you have those children? Why don't you know? 
went to meet with her husband or went to. There are even, we are talking about uh, uh, men here. There are some women that are also tyrants that they want to sleep with their husband every day. It, it seems that they, they, they love sex so much that before this one is growing up, they need the other one. Mm -hmm. What do you think about that? Because do you think a woman will like, want to like put to bed not knowing the consequences? Yeah, that? many women are like that. You know, many women are like that. As, as I've been a pastor for 30 something years and uh, in counseling, you discover that men will come to you and say, this woman don't allow me to rest. He just every day he want me to do like that. So all the men are not the same. All the women are not, not the, same. the same. But it's a matter of when you have such a person in your house and you don't agree, it's already a problem. Mm -hmm. So it's either they meet a medical person, personnel mm -hmm. who yeah. will counsel them and tell them on how to go about it. Mm -hmm. The medical personnel will say what he wants to say in his profession, in his office, but he doesn't follow the people home. Mm -hmm. Now, who, who takes the heads in family planning, the man or the woman? The I know head. the man is yes. The head Anybody the can suggest. <laughs> yeah. Anybody can suggest it. You know, I, I started earlier by saying, when there is no freedom at, in the house, it's a big problem. Who must allow everybody to express his feeling? Uh, if the home I am, uh, uh, when you, the Bible said that God is the head of Christ and Christ is the head of the man mm -hmm. and the man is the head of the woman. Mm -hmm. Now, it's spiritual principle. Mm -hmm. But then, in the head, it does not mean that you know everything. Mm -hmm. There are so many things my wife knows better than me. Mm -hmm. That I'm the husband does not make me to know everything. Now, if you have to go for family plan or if you have to choose any contraceptive side, uh, Mrs. James, what will you choose? What, which, which one will you go for? There are many of them. I told you that I've never Because people done tell it. Them are using the natural methods. That's, yeah. that's the easiest. But natural method too, is, it, it has a lot of risks too. Yes, it has a lot of uh, risk. But uh, every woman must understand her body. Mm -hmm. Her circles, you know, the time of revelation and the time you suppose and the time you don't suppose. Mm -hmm. Like for me, I think that the best for me is abstinence. Mm -hmm. During that time, you think that is the time we better not meet together. Now, when you talk of abstinence, there are men that when you talk of abstinence, do we talk of abstinence in marriage? <laughs> is it possible to talk about that? It's not all about penetration. You can still ejaculate without penetrating. You can still feel free, romance yourself, get mm -hmm. things well done, and everything will be okay. So it doesn't necessarily mean that it's every time. <laughs> <laughs> That was Mr. and Mrs. Uh, James. I want us to rush this report. South Africa, contraceptive sciences are working on male contraception. Now, let's watch this report. We'll be right back. When it comes to birth control, women have nearly a dozen options, while men only have two, a vasectomy or a condom. Vasectomies are often met with resistance and can be irreversible. But a non-hormonal male contraceptive could change the playing field. Through a small injection, one can then block the tube, the vas deferens, and still achieve the same successful rates that we have with a no-scalpel or routine uh, vasectomy procedure. Vasogel is expected to be available in South Africa with. as a traditional vasectomy. Medical experts are excited about the new offering. In the medical field, we're always help, or hopeful of, of new products and we're always keen on, on new technology. And it comes at an affordable price and it's also done relatively quickly and, and more effectively. It's, I think, will definitely be of value to our patients. But what do men think? Well, I think at the end of the day, if it is reversible, I don't see why not. And if it's proven clinically, then yes, definitely you've got something. I don't feel comfortable about it because, I mean, I've, I've read about this contraceptive that you're talking about right now, but I'm not sure per se if I'm 100% sure about it, but if it's safe, then I wouldn't mind using it. Women have welcomed the new contraceptive, but some doubt that men will be as keen. Welcome back. <laughs>
Welcome back. We're sorry for those poor quality uh, images, or let me just talk of our technical problems. Mm. The program is turned up. We are live on Canal the uh, English, and we have uh, a medical doctor here with us in the studio. He is a gynecologist, Dr. Imapi Onori. Welcome to Canal the English. Thank you, Mali. I'm happy to receive you today. Now, I just want to uh, get your reaction after that report, though we did not listen to it, but it has to do with male contraception. Does it exist? Yes, it exists. Most of the time, we, we're talking about uh, female contraception, mm -hmm. but male also can have uh, contraception. Does it mean that a man can decide that, or the couple can decide a man goes for it than the woman? It is possible, but it's not, it's not common. Mm -hmm. But the contraceptives of male is sometimes radical. That's the problem. Mm. It means that what do you when mean? you use it, it mm. means that uh, it, it kills a man completely. Yes. Concerning. And the man can no longer conceive. Right. Conceive. Yes. Mm. But there are other uh, medical methods. Most of the time, he will not conceive again. Mm -hmm. That's the problem. With the male contraception, but now with the woman. With the women, the contractors for the match used to regulate pregnancy. Mm -hmm. That's all. And there are many, many methods. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, I, I want you to give us some of the methods. Mm -hmm. It means that uh, they use it to avoid the, the woman not to have a child every month or every year. Yes. Mm -hmm. They should space. Maybe it's three years. So avoid undesired yes. pregnancies. Mm -hmm. At least you space your children. You know that I want to have like four children and going for the four children. But at least there are times that you have even even during your safe period you have children. <laughs> yes, yes. If you have children, <laughs> but but uh, in this occasion, you know. I don't know what I want. <laughs> <laughs> now, the, the, the question I want to ask is that do women actually come for contraceptives? Mm -hmm. Do they visit you as a medical doctor? Yes, yes, it's common. It's common. Mm -hmm. Not as uh, they can have it in Europe mm -hmm. because it's not usually in our habits. Because they say many meetings concerning the, the contraceptives, they say that they should give sickness, they should give cancer, mm -hmm. they should do all, mm -hmm. all those things. That is wrong. Mm -hmm. and, which, uh, which means that in Africa and Cameroon in general, so many women don't come for these uh, no, family no, planning methods. No, not really. They are not really common in the service of uh, family planning. They are not. Uh, they are not coming as they should supposed to do. Let me tell you something. And but most of the time they don't come. Or when they come, mm -hmm. and you want to talk about contraceptives, no, I don't want. <laughs> now, now, why <laughs> now, Mrs. J, what to push a woman to just refuse it? And it's something that is supposed to help you as a woman and not the man because the woman is carrying the body, she's carrying the baby, is a, I mean, it's your whole body that is like paining, you're feeling uncomfortable. Why would you reject it from the doctor? Is that she does not have the means? Is it poverty? No. No, we are not even talking about the means here because I don't think it's even expensive. You know, in Africa, it's not like the Western world. Mm -hmm. Like as I just traveled last time, uh, I visited a woman that just had a baby and she was telling us that she is not coming back from her doctor because she had rendezvous so that the doctor will mm -hmm. uh, do some family planning on her. Mm -hmm. I said, wow, that's where I said, but why say no, that's how we do it here. I said, that's good. Sir. We have another baby after three years. Mm -hmm. I was so much in place. I said, yes, that's good. But you know, in Africa here, many women don't know about it. And some of us that have known about it, you know, there are some negative things mm -hmm. you must have heard. Mm -hmm. And because of that, you are afraid. If I do it, I'm going to be sick. You know, I'm going to have cancer. I'm going to have this. Mm -hmm. You know, I can, I can say that's because. And that's the reason why many women don't want it. Now, now Dr. Mappi, isn't that women go for the wrong contraceptives, they don't go for counseling before going to get these uh, contraceptives for the assistant? No, they don't go for, for, for counseling. Yeah. That's the yeah. problem. Yeah. They don't, they, in our country, usually they, they want to know, they understand what they are saying in the quarter, but mm -hmm. they don't want to understand what the doctor mm -hmm. is saying. Mm -hmm. That's, That's the problem. Mm -hmm. And they will say that it's a sickness. They will say that they, they cannot give birth again if they mm -hmm. use contraceptive. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. That's the problem. Mm -hmm. huh? Cancer, they will not get it, and they are afraid because they say many, many things they will take with as uh, Madame Pastor said. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that is really, really wrong. Mm -hmm. 
they would discuss, the talk would discuss with the woman and choose the kind of contraceptive methods is the, 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 the woman can use. Mm -hmm. It's not because you, they use this kind of view that they will do the same for your colleague or for mm -hmm. your, your sister. Mm -hmm. No, mm -hmm. they will discuss, uh, do the examination, do some lab tests and mm -hmm. see if what they should use for this patient and what they should do for another patient. Uh, which, which means that uh, I'm here with uh, Mrs. James. Yeah. She can use her type and I have my own. It, it cannot yeah. be the same. Yeah. Contraceptive method cannot work on the two of us. Is that what yeah. it's true? Yeah. It's true. Let me tell you something. Mm -hmm. uh, she has her sister. Mm -hmm. She will use a method, mm -hmm. and the sister will say that I will the same method. Since it's my yes, sister. It's my sister. Mm -hmm. Oh no, it cannot work. It's not yeah. like that. Mm -hmm. Maybe she's fat, she's mm -hmm. thin, or the sister is fat. Mm -hmm. Maybe she's high blood pressure, maybe she's diabetic, mm -hmm. maybe there are many, many things. Maybe she's used to have infections. Mm -hmm. I will know the kind of contraception that we give to her and mm -hmm. another one will not give. Now, what is the right procedure? The right procedure is to see the doctor, discuss Good. with the doctor, mm -hmm. and discuss together with the doctor. They discuss the contraceptives you, you need. Mm -hmm. That will accept. Because another one we cannot accept, another one will accept. That's mm -hmm. the procedure. The doctor will see, discuss, it's a consultation. You've got on some 30 minutes because there are many, many kind of contraceptive methods mm -hmm. that are natural mm -hmm. and not natural as we said and after that you discuss that together now sometimes most of the time it's better to come with the, the husband mm -hmm. it's not yeah. the problem of the of the <laughs> wife <laughs> <laughs> it's the problem of the couple mm -hmm. because you can use these methods and the husband will say that I don't like this method. Mm -hmm. For example, a mm -hmm. <laughs> device mm -hmm. that will man will say that oh feel it I mm -hmm. don't like these methods mm -hmm. or because she discussed with his uh, colleague and he said that my wife you is on the woman most or of when the time, in the woman most of the time EUD is psychology mm -hmm. and because it's in yes, the head it's, mm -hmm. it's in the man's head so he can do knowing that it is there but he has no problem mm -hmm. yes but once he puts it in the head it becomes a problem doctor. for example they uh, they answer to some woman mm -hmm. and they did not tell to the husband and the man does not know. Did you not know? <laughs> but when the, the, the wife come and say that, I do this thing, mm -hmm. I feel it. Mm -hmm. another, another the man thing. starts yes, getting yes, angry. Yes, yes. <laughs> the, the couple discuss for the procedure. And the woman said, I want to put and set it. Mm -hmm. He said, no, don't do it. Two weeks after, she came back and said that, I'm coming from the doctor. Mm -hmm. And she and he and set it. Mm -hmm. You start a problem, problem, and feel it, and feel it. Mm -hmm. She did not put it. Mm -hmm. Two weeks after, you see there is nothing. Mm -hmm. What were you feeling? <laughs> <laughs> now, Mrs. James, is this possible for a woman? Must a woman tell the man? Can't you just go, you take this contraceptive, the man is just like disturbing, you do it, and you just behave normally as if you did nothing is happening around you you know the bible said that two said he shall be one mm -hmm. if that's really but the man is stubborn <laughs> yes i know but if that's really law of transparency who should go together mm -hmm. but in the case that whereby the man is categorically refusing and the woman has seen that uh, anyway if i continue like this and keep on being pregnant put into bed and there is no money there is no means in fact it's a problem i don't want to suffer I don't want these two children to suffer. I can say that the, the woman should go and meet her doctor and be able to do it. And then when you come back, you leave it mm -hmm. until that appointed day that the Lord will make it possible for mm -hmm. you to let the man know. If now, not, you not carry it. All right. Now, <laughs> doctor, you said the complaints are mostly for women. Yes. And now, what do you tell the women when she comes without the man and she wants this... Mm -hmm. uh, any contraceptive method so badly, what do you do? It is the woman to control herself, mm -hmm. to control her body. Mm -hmm. When the, the man do not want to have the husband, to, to, to the wife, mm -hmm. to do the contraceptive, mm -hmm. as the mama pastor was saying, it, mm -hmm. we can never say that it's, it's up to you to control your, your body. They can yeah. do some contraceptive that do. The man, no, no. Mm. So you can, you can see, you advise, you can, yes, is it possible yes, for the woman yes. to do it? Medically, without legally, it is possible. Mm -hmm. huh? It's not the man to come and say, the woman, don't do it. It is her body. What is you carry 10 children? 
Mm -hmm. uh, the, the uterus will be soft yeah. and she can dead someday by doing mm -hmm. If you don't have too many time, I will tell you the story of this contraceptive. Mm -hmm. What hard is just, it? Just, just tell us. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it is because one woman dead because of giving birth. Mm -hmm. eh? And uh, that, the, that lady, she said that you should try to do some method that, you know, to, uh, that will help women to space mm -hmm. the, 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 the number of that, children the number the one that she was. In, in she was a tenth. Okay. The death of the of the mother and the mm -hmm. mother dead the when mother she died when dead, she was dead, yeah. was, mm -hmm. was an American. Mm -hmm. Say that the women should space the pregnancy if they have too much children like that. Mm -hmm. That's the so we can accept no, do it. It is possible. Sometime in the village they go and do some injection, she'll come the date of the mm -hmm. the market do the injection, the woman no no, it's mm -hmm. possible. No, but uh, the, the women uh, stay general because women carry the burden. They yeah. carry the burden. And then you will have these pills. Mm -hmm. Women yes. just take pills the way they want. Because when we did a report, I went to a pharmacy, three of them, to find out. And what the pharmacist told me is that women come for pills. Now, why? I would say that they cannot choose a contraceptive method like that. Because what they do is that they take the pills after having sexual incontinence. They just okay, the, a drink. It's, 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 it's not prescribed by the doctor, uh -huh. but the pills are there. Is that what you call the uh, early morning pills mm -hmm. that women use most of the time? Mm -hmm. uh, because they have sex, mm -hmm. they are afraid to get pregnant, mm -hmm. they use it. Mm -hmm. Now, that's what they actually use this one, the early morning pills. Mm -hmm. They should use it maybe at least once a year because mm -hmm. it's an accident. Mm -hmm. But what you notice is that many, many women use it as pills. That is not normal. It will disturb mm -hmm. the cycle. Yeah. And no, she, those are the effects. Yes, yes, are the, the effects. Effect. Mm -hmm. Yes, the effect. Mm -hmm. Your cycle will not be regular. Mm -hmm. And maybe if you want to take it again, it will be a problem. Yeah. That's, a, that's a problem. How will it be a problem? Because, because your cycle is dissolved, mm -hmm. and you don't know your ovulation periods mm -hmm. become mm -hmm. like that. Now, don't you think condom store is one? I mean, it's an effective uh, contraceptive method because that's what I can say is the cheapest. Condom is a good contraceptive method mm -hmm. because it, it protects mm -hmm. from sickness and from mm -hmm. pregnancy. There's not really second effects. Mm -hmm. The second effect we can have is allergy, but it is not really common. Mm -hmm. Those can have allergy for, for uh, yes, for this condom, yes, mm -hmm. woman or, or the man. Yes, or mm -hmm. the man. It is possible. It is not really, really common. We notice some of them. But uh, most men refuse condoms. Yes, they refuse condom because they say that they don't feel. Mm -hmm. They don't feel the woman yes, they when they are using. Uh -huh. They are using condom. But there's this problem that women have a problem with these natural methods. The natural methods, Mrs. James. Is it possible for a woman to just count on the natural methods? It is possible, and yet it is not really possible. Mm. You know, you can be counting on you. You can, you can fail mm -hmm. and you become <laughs> pregnant. So whenever a woman wants to use a natural method, she should really be vigilant. Mm -hmm. Be able to count her days. If possible, take a calendar, mm -hmm. put in her room, and be counting it, marking it. If not, she can be pregnant. Mm -hmm. Because I have not many women that become pregnant like that. But if not, I think that's the best method. Mm -hmm. Now, doctor, do you advise on natural methods? It's not a really good method. Mm -hmm. It's not a better method they have to use because uh, it depends on your, your cycle. And what's um, having the stress, mm -hmm. having unhappiness can change the cycle, the date mm -hmm. of ovulation. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you know that I ovulated the 12th day or the 14th day for my cycle because mm -hmm. you're happy, because you have the problem with your husband, you will disturb. On the eighth day, you are pregnant. Mm -hmm. That's a problem. <laughs> so it's not a really, it is a method, eh? it is a method but not the, the best. But, but, but the couple mm -hmm. can do it together. The it man can master mm -hmm. the woman's cycle and be the one controlling it. Some couple do, do, do it. Mm -hmm. Some couple. And they have four children like that without using anything. Now, the, about, about these contraceptives, women, the, the problem women are complaining of is facts. Mm -hmm. Those are the side effects. That's a complaint you have, doctor. Not all the contraceptive methods. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Most of the time, even the pills can yeah. 
mm. because there are some component of those pills that can make the woman be fat, but mm. not all the women mm -hmm. have to process it. Mm -hmm. And the hormonal methods, I've said hormonal methods, pills and okay. some injection. Mm -hmm. Now, which of them makes a woman grow fatter? It's or makes her put on weight? Estrogen. Estrogen, especially. But there are other women that it does not have the same effects like on others? Yes, yes. It depends it depend on what the bodies of each woman. Mm -hmm. uh, this, I was saying that a woman can use it, but the sister does not have to. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, that's why we started by saying that uh, we're advising women before using or this contraceptive, see, doctor. see your doctor mm -hmm. for a total checkup. Mm -hmm. For I believe there are some tests they need to conduct or to make your body circle mm -hmm. your, this, your system and know which one can be good for you. Don't just because your sister or your, your, your friend use this one, mm -hmm. you are going to use the same thing. Mm -hmm. It won't work. There are, there are men who put money in front before looking at the, the consequences it has on the woman. No, it is not expensive. Contraception is not expensive no, in Cameroon. Now they look at the cost here. Uh, <laughs> pills sometimes you can have maybe 500 for mm. a mom, mm. or sometimes 100. 500? Yes, 100 for some time, for a mom. 100? Yes. That's how many? <laughs> 21 <laughs> tablets. For 100? Yes, for a mom. <laughs> mm. mm -hmm. So it's, a, it's not a problem of cost. Mm -hmm. huh? Having uh, the, 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 the method that can stay for five years, yeah. they are not expensive. Mm -hmm. they, they need to do this, they do this. At least he has to pay for all that and he's running away from it. We know the capacity of our patient. Yeah. We know the financial problem of our patient. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And we know which kind of exam we do that will not be expensive. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we don't even ask those exams. Mm -hmm. It is not see, it is not risk. We notice that during consultation, during discussing with the with the woman, there's no risk. Okay, they will give. Now, does it mean that you, you, you look at the, the pocket of your patient before you're applying? It's not a problem of pocket. You, you, you it's it's <laughs> some problem of the, the, the history of the patient. Mm -hmm. you understand the history of the patient mm -hmm. that we see. But sometimes you notice that there's a problem. They can mm -hmm. say it's better to do tests. Yeah. And it is really the problem. They will give the contractors that they do not need to do those tests, it's not for all the contractors that they should do in tests. Mm -hmm. But if you give, if, if you prescribe one that is expensive and the patient and, and the patient or the, the woman or the couple does not go for it, it means the message has not gone through. They are not expensive. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you the truth. Mm -hmm. When you yeah. say expensive, how mm -hmm. much? Mm -hmm. There's no contraceptive that to pass 10,000. Mm -hmm. For yes. five years, sometimes. I would say 5,000. Sometimes it's sometimes uh, in some center, it's 3,000. Mm -hmm. mm. Five years. Mm -hmm. At times, it, it, it causes women to bleed a lot, and the men will not cope with bleeding. Okay, okay. Concerning bleeding, most of the they are not contraceptive methods that are efficacious for one hundred percent. All of them should have some second effects. Mm -hmm. you understand? Yeah. But I will say, I will say that. It's Come back to your doctor, yes. and then meet the doctor. Tell him what you're going through, mm -hmm. and the doctor can change the drugs. Most of the, the time, most of the mm -hmm. time, the doctor will advise mm -hmm. you. you. I give you these contraceptive methods. You should have this. You can have this. You can have this. You can have those. So, mm -hmm. if there is any problem, come back and see. Me. All right. That's the procedure. And, and now, what's your last message to women out there? Okay, my last message for women is this. I don't know, maybe you have discussed with your husband the number of children you want to have. Don't go beyond that. Mm -hmm. See your capacity, your, your income, because if you have more than your income can carry, it's not going to be good. Yeah, you should not so, have so many children that you cannot take care yes, of the children. And you I'm, cannot give them proper education here. Yeah? Yes, and I'm also pleading with some of our doctors in maternity homes mm -hmm. and many hospitals. Mm -hmm. During that natal period, they should try to talk to them concerning when you have this baby, look at what you should do in order to be able to rest your body, your mm -hmm. womb should yeah. be strong enough mm -hmm. to carry that baby, how to spare the children. In fact, our medical personnel has a lot to do to help us. The Women Organization Association, there should be a seminar like that to help our fellow women come out of untimely death or necessarily suffering because of ignorance. All right. Now, Dr. Mapi, your last message to women, what are you telling the women? Better to do the contraceptive to mm -hmm. do the contraception than to do the abortion. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It is better mm -hmm. to do the contraception. 
than to do the abortion. abortion. Yeah. <laughs> it's better to go for contraceptives mm -hmm. than go for <laughs> an abortion because you're killing an innocent soul. Mm -hmm. Now I want to just say that Dr. Mappi is in Dwala. If you want to see him, then you can contact me, then you can get to him. Mm -hmm. Now the program is a turn up, a program that seeks to empower women and the girl child. Well, come to the end of this edition of the program. If you love the program, then stay tuned next time, next week.